Down here in the shop, and I'm finally getting around to setting up and testing my brand new border cable dovetail jig. And it is the 4216, so that means it is the deluxe combination kit. And it comes with all the templates and all the goodies inside and this book and everything. And you can look that all up on, on the web. I'm not going to go through all that stuff with you. But before I get to doing that, I need to make sure that my router base plate is centered properly on the router base. You can't eyeball that on there. You got to use the centering tool. Let me show you something. Put that in there like that. Push that cone down in there, nice and snug. Look over here. Look how much the plastic's hanging over, okay? Now look over here. Not a whole lot. It is, but not like this over here. See? So you gotta make sure you use this tool. You should never eyeball the base plate onto the router. Always use the tool, you know? Anytime you take the base plate on and off there with the on offness, on off and on 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 off and off and off enough already. Okay, so the next thing I did here was I set up the bit depth gauge here, this stop. And the book says it wants three eighths of an inch between the template and the top of the stop. So what I did was I took my calipers and I measured the thickness of the template and added uh, 0.375 to that. And then I was able to just get my measurement by dropping this down out of my calipers there, hitting the top of that and got the magic number that way. Uh, easy way to remember that is three eighths. Takes a three eighths inch wrench to uh, loosen that jam nut to move the thumb screw. Um, so three eighths of an inch is the gap between here. And it's the same on all the templates, whether you're using those right there or that one. It says so in the book right here. This is true for all the templates, see? I cut these pieces up. This is half inch pre-finished birch, some scrap that I had left over. Uh, I made a front and a back and some side. Okay, I'm back at the jig and I want to set the preload for these clamps back here and, and the clamp on the front. Right? So I'm going to loosen this all up. I have the Offset guides, the offset stops, those are all loosened up and out of the way. A set the work piece in there, like that. And with this all loosened up and the handle all the way forward so the, the clamp is all the way up. I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna spin these down until they touch, until they stop. Bring it down until it's just barely dragging, just barely touching it. So now when I engage the cams, that's what's gonna lock my piece in. But when I disengage, my pieces are going to slide in and out easily. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. So, and now I want to install the template. This is the half blind template. And the fork here goes over that screw, that threaded rod, and in front of the brass adjustment screw. Okay? Just like that. All right. Now I want to put a work piece in there. This is the thickness of the material that I'm going to be uh, working with. Loosen this up, slide it in there, put it underneath the template. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it like this, long ways, because I want to bite on that. I want, I, want, I want enough material hanging out the back that this is gonna clamp down nicely to it, right? So, this is just a test piece. So I'm gonna bring this piece up, bring this template forward so that when I come up, I'm hitting the bottom of the template. I'm pressing down on the template here. Make sure I'm flat on the top and that this is flush on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and lock the top one down. Bring this up. Like so. Lock the bottom one down. Like that. Looks like this front piece can, this top piece can come in. Come towards me a little bit more. Like so. There you go. So we're nice and flush. Our work pieces are flush to one another. This is all the way down. I got this in the middle because if it was off to one side, this is going to want to rock. So I got this in the middle and we're, we're doing setup for this thickness of material, which is half inch. It's really not half inch. It's like four, seven, seven, something like that. What you want to do now is there's a score line here across the front of the template. All the templates have it. And what you want to do is you want to slide that until it is 
All I'm doing now is I'm bringing these brass adjustment screws up against the back of the template forks and I am gonna dial this in until the bottom of this V, this is like a little V that they got in the score line here. I'm gonna put that V right on the seam of my material. Just making sure it's good. This is this is the important part. This is the setup. Right. So now that I'm pushing down flat before I lock these in place, just like that, right up against the brass. And looking good. I have the uh, dovetail bit installed from the kit. Uh, earlier, I installed the template guide and centered the router base plate to the router base using the smaller collet and the centering tool that came with my router. So that is nice and centered and true. And now I am going to take the router over to the template and get my depth of cut using the depth gauge on the template. Okay, here we are at the side of the jig. This is the side that has the depth stop for the router bit. And like I said earlier, this is 3 8 from the top of the stop to the bottom of the template. And I'm just gonna set my router up on top and I'm gonna drop the bit down until it touches the top of that, top of that stop. See, now it's teetering. I'm just gonna dial it back. That just barely touches, and I'm gonna lock my router in place right there. So now I got the proper depth set on my router. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to set the offset stops. I'm gonna bring my vertical workpiece in, which would be the drawer side, and I am going to center the workpiece in between these two outer slots right here. I'm just eyeballing that. I'm going to lock it in place. I'm just going to double check and make sure it's touching evenly all the way across the bottom of the template. That's not in there. Um, and not touching, because if it's not touching, then um, if it's not touching all those tines, then um, your dovetails aren't going to come out uniform and even. Now, I want to slide the offset guide over. So it is touching this workpiece nice and flush. And give it a little squeeze with the Allen head. Now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna get it under the template and slide it all the way over to the stop up here. Now I'm just gonna double check that it's flush and lock that one down. Just gonna adjust that and lock that down so that piece doesn't move. Okay, I think I'm going to do a little climb cut across the face of this and then uh, and then I'll go from left to right. Try and prevent some chip out here. We'll see what happens. So I got this joint together and you can see that the template is back too far. Right here, you see how proud those are. Quite a bit there. So what I need to do is uh, set up a couple more pieces, probably just these other sides here, and move that score line, move that forward a little bit, and try to uh, dial this in. Let's try it again. Made a little adjustment, brought brought my line, my score line forward a little bit, and uh, let's see if that let's let's see if that gets it. Okay, that's a little better. That's getting in there. I see this this wasn't pre-finished. I'd probably just sand that in. Because that's uh that's pretty good, you know. Oh, I'm picking that up. Is the camera getting that? Can you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay, I got some wide pieces in there right now because I'm gonna try and get fancy and make a box for the dovetail jig to live in. So let's see if I can make that happen. I got these pieces marked inside A, inside A. Okay, just so you know. I'm gonna jam out and see if I can make this happen. All right, make sure you squint. Here we go. Hey, so far so good. Huh? Yeah, smell that. Had to persuade it a little bit. But uh, yeah, 
So basically I'm just going to keep the styrofoam and I've reorganized some of it. I'll show you that later, but I'll be able to slide the styrofoam into this box. That's what I'm thinking with a bottom and a top on it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I got the pieces lined up here. Uh, D, D, A, 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 B, B, okay? And I'll, I'll hammer them together and we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, wait, almost forgot to show this part, right? You want this to go like this, like that, see? Now I can put the jig right in here. But you're thinking, wow, that's great, Scott, but what happens when you go to pick it up? Oh, 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 yeah, it needs a bottom on it. Of course, it needs a bottom and it needs a top, right? I got this old glue up right here that I've had for 13,000 years, and I think I'm just gonna cut a top and a bottom out of it and then I might put a, a rabbit all around the edge and just let let it down let it down into the box a little bit okay so I got my router base off and uh, attached it to this plate that's in my little router table here uh, I'm gonna change the offset on this bit here so to a half an inch so I can bite into this top here and uh, make a rabbit all the way around that so I can set it inside the box okay that's what we're doing okay so my top and bottom have a rabbit in it that's a half inch this way and three-eighths of an inch this way and the whole object of the exercise here was to not have to throw the styrofoam away and uh, test out the dovetail jig and create a box for it using it. So none of this has been glued together. This is all dry fit. Here's the dovetail jig inside the styrofoam. And that'll float right to the bottom because it's nice and tight, see? And then that should go right down inside there like that. And then this lid can fit right inside like that, see? Just fasten and glue the bottom, leave the top like this, where it can just lift off and uh, all that good. Check this out. Can you see that? Look. Let me get on that. You see that? <laughs> that just came out of my finger right there. So I'm going to get some glue going, take this apart, and uh, get this all glued up. Get the top, get the bottom on there, and get that fastened in, and get some glue on that. Well, there you go. It's all under glue. It's under the clamps. Here's a little uh, cup in this bottom piece here. So there's a little belly and I just put a little tension on the center there just to get a little squeeze out from the glue. And then over on this side here, that clamp in the back, I'm gonna walk all the way around. This clamp here, the when I threw a nail in there, uh, it split there. So I just uh, forced some glue in and put a, put a clamp on that. So I'm probably gonna pop the clamps off here pretty soon and uh, put all put the put the router stuff in there and put this thing to bed for tonight and uh, maybe tomorrow I'll sand it out I don't know and I'll just leave it I mean it's just a work box right it's just a toolbox ain't no big deal but there it is so far give it a couple more minutes on these clamps here's the box right and, uh, here's the bottom piece got all the goodies in there and go right down inside Final assembly here. We'll reach over. Grab the, the jig. Fits right down into its little spot there where it's supposed to. Can you see? Can you see in there? Can you see it? 
Okay. Just gonna make sure this one handle's out of the way. And then, uh, then this piece that has the two jigs in it. And that's kind of how it comes from the. It shows up in the original box. There's actually one jig on top, and there's one on the bottom of that other piece. So all I did was um, just poke it through here, and for some reason it fit. I don't know why Porta Table doesn't do that anyway. But so there's the instructions, and the lid, man, fits right on there. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, we're gonna have to end it here. My battery's dying. Annie's on her way home, and I need to get cleaned up so we can eat. Well. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.